Hello everybody, and welcome to my custom user map automated simulated testing initiative to appease GLaDOS's curiosity, also known as Come Ask Tit Aglac. And the first user map that we're going to test is called Ball Map by the user Orange. Here we go. And Ball Maze by Orange. And I like how he added a little cinematic at the beginning. That, that was cute. Uh, most of the users aren't doing that, make it, giving that extra touch to these maps. You can see my little speck of blood on the floor. All right, so there's our first, uh, see he really went to a lot of trouble to make it look good too. So he gets credit for that for sure. And there's our portal gun. See in these custom maps, you don't have a portal gun to begin with. You kind of pick one up. Okay, so here's our aerial faith plate. Oh wow. And I like this. I like what he did here. See, he added a little control room, and over there too. Uh, that's something I haven't seen in uh, too many user maps. And we land here. Yeah, cool. There's a pneumatic diversity vent, and I like how he added these uh, hydraulic tiles that move around. Okay, so here's our first um, clue. We have to create a portal here, and then uh, oh, it's like. It's like a little ball maze. That's cute. Let's do it. And not fall off this time. So we just kind of have to understand what these... Ah, I see. So we have to control this. And then we control this. And then what does this do? Oh, exactly. Right. And then I would... So there's the answer. So it's step one. And then step two. And then step three. Like right now. Yep. And that wasn't too hard. And that brings the ball around to here. Oh, God, what butterfingers. I like the shadow that the, the ball casts. And... Hi Good. We sh no, we can't shoot this up. Oh, that would be cute if you made those uh, cameras on the portable surfaces. Okay, and this is chamber number two. Well, gee, how much do you want to bet we need one here and there? That was easy. Uh, there. Oh, now, I wonder why I put a surface here. You don't need it. And that takes us into the third one. What? Ah. <coughs> uh, and we get... Oh, this is fun. This is going to be fun. It's like a puzzle to solve. Okay, let's just take a look at our environment, and then we'll reverse engineer it, like we always do. Okay, here's our exit, so there's the final step. So obviously these probably swing up. Yeah, they swing up to get to the exit. And to do that, these are laser receptacles. So I'm gonna have to shoot a laser into one of these at a time, probably like move it around. And then there's the um, discouragement generator. Well, let's go up here and see what we got. Ah, yeah, and I bet that's the one that starts, yeah. That starts the laser. He didn't make the path go all the way down, but that's what it does. That's where you bring it. Okay. Now how the hell do you get through there? I can't like, you know, I can't jump and get it. There's a portable surface here, but I can't reach it. Would I be able to? No. Oh, see? I can't. <gasps> Whoop. Yes, I can actually. Now, yes I can. That's the secret. You just have to barely nick the the end of that and then you can shove a portal over there. Okay, let's get back down here. Yeah, see now we've got a discouragement beam and then this is an excursion funnel generator. This is the, uh, you know, the asbestos generator for excursion funnels. So I bet you the other one is exactly like the first one. Yeah, see, and then you just kind of like right there. Ha! There. And there, I bet we have our excursion funnel now, right? Yep, there we go. Okay, so that's cool. I've never seen that before. An excursion funnel inside a discouragement beam. Or wrapped around it, rather. Okay, and now what does this give us? Of course, a discouragement redirection cube. But what do we do with it? We would send it through the beam, right? 
like this, maybe. Well, no. No, we just send it through regular, like this. I know we don't go through with it. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. Oh, see, and then it's activating all these different plates. We just, of course, and that's that's the last part. So we just we just solved the last part of it, but now we have to see. Let's do it again and see exactly. Let's pay attention to exactly what happens. What? God, scared the crap out of me. There. Okay, now what? I see. So we actually let's do it. Let's just go through and see what it does. Whoops. Oh no. No! Did I just totally screw the whole level up? I can't I can't get back out. I can jump down here. Okay, he made a way to portal out. Well, I've got the portal over I've got the orange portal over there already. So let's uh jump out and then we can jump back into the excursion funnel. Ah! There. And then we just have to go over here and then we'll be okay. Fucking frame rate is stuttering again. And give me that cube. We have to do that again. And then we'll be. Okay, I got it. I understand. And there. Now, the second. There. We're not gonna make it a second too late this time. I see. And then we just go up here. And of course, that goes down again. So we're gonna eventually have to do that twice. Of course. Now, and then there's a hole. I bet if I sh zap the beam through there, then, watch. Whoops. No, ouch. Damn. That didn't work like I thought, well, of course not. It, a beam isn't going to make the plate go away. Um, I think I'm going to have to do this again but at least I've got that orange surface up there. Now how is this going to work? If I... Let me think about this for a second. Yeah, this... This platform rises once it hits one of these. So... And then once it rises, then I can shoot a portal over there. I think. But then how in the hell... That means I have to get through here, which means I have to shoot a portal. I don't know if that's going to work. Okay, well... You know what? It's got to be kind of like... I'm just going to have to redirect it once I go through. So I have to send this through first, and then I go through, and then portal! Port! No! There. God, that was stupid. I don't need to make a portal over there. I can just put a portal right here. That is just, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, okay, there you go. So now we go through this portal, and then as soon as it gets there, it opens it up. And now we shoot a portal through there. Whoops. And then we can go right through. And, and now what? Oh, okay. Yep, we're in the right place. Good. And then we drop down onto the floor and be careful not to drop down there. Oh, shit. We're going to have to do that whole thing all over again. But at least we got the blue portal there. What does this do? Oh, well, that was easy. That makes things much easier. There. So there we go. We solved the... Ball Maze by Orange. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's hope... Oh! <laughs> we didn't solve it. Well, you know what? Yes, we did, because that was the elevator. And by the way, I saw in one of the comments that the elevator doesn't work, so... Um, oh, well. Yeah, there's the first one. Hope you enjoyed it.